Welcome to a Week 3 non-conference matchup as the Appalachian State Mountaineers of the Sun Belt Conference come into Laramie to take on the Wyoming Cowboys. The Cowboys are 1-1 one one after last week's 41-28 upset over the 24th ranked Wisconsin Badgers. The Mountain West Conference standings after Week 2. Defensive tackle Jaden Williams was named the Week 2 Mountain West Conference Defensive Player of the Week. The Cowboys currently do not have any players with significant injuries on this week's injury report. The National Top 25 Rankings The Cowboys' individual team stats through Week 2.
a look at the Cowboys recruiting board through week two. And now, our Week 3 non-conference showdown as the 1-1 Appalachian State Mountaineers of the Sun Belt come into Laramie to take on the 1-1 Wyoming Cowboys of the Mountain West. Welcome to Laramie, Wyoming, and one of the highest elevations you will find in all of college football. And it is home to the Wyoming Cowboys, and they have a taste for the spicy brown mustard. We've got a sensational matchup for you. Fans have been filing in and getting ready for this game. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Appalachian State Mountaineers, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Wyoming Cowboys. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Mountaineers will get us underway with the opening kickoff. He'll bring it out. It's Parks. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So Wyoming's offense will get the first swing of the game. And this big fella can... Fun ...to have a guy that I can rely on, that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. The offense set for a first down play. Looking for a gap, it's Scott. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. He'll try it again. Got room at the 35. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And running backs are so good, so talented, so elusive. You see nowadays they really have the ability to make you miss, run you over. Unbelievable effort. Nice job. You keep that going, you're going to be hard to stop. Wants to throw on first down. Makes the grab. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. That last completion sets him up on second down. They go to the ground. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. I love when players understand the situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. Fires to the middle. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. Oh, that hit him in a bad spot, right in the hands. Great play. You still get a pass breakup, but, man, that could have been an interception by the defender there. Nice break on the football, but secure that big fella and get the six. Get the pick six. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Looking for a man. It's Svoboda. Unloads to the wideout. 
He's missed three in a row now with that last incompletion. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits at the eight and goes into the end zone for the touchback. The Mountaineers offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this impact from your leaders. Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job of it. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, the inside give. Pushes ahead for a couple, they'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll pull it on the read. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Gets away. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. You're not going to win a lot of games if you can't protect your quarterback. In their last game, they got sacked four times, lost the game. And so far in this one, they're having difficulty again. These guys up front have got to do a better job communicating and giving their QB time. The Mountaineers will call on their punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. This is a spot you see many... Fair catch, just inside the 40. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. Right back to the well. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Looking for a man, it's Svoboda. Quickly complete. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. You know, it's a nice throw by the QB there. When you're throwing to running backs, you got to make it easy on them. So you want to put it right on their body, make the catch simple, and let them go to work like they did just there getting that first. And the Cowboys have it with a first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. On second down, they'll take to the air. He finds his man. The Cowboys get it past the sticks. A nice job by the quarterback there, working through his progressions. Nothing open down the field, so he checks it down to his drag route, coming from the slot receiver to get the completion. All the way down to the 25-yard line, it's first and 10. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Stop is made, but he picks up four yards down to the 21-yard line. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. The give to the back. And he's brought down after a nice game. Man, who says you can't run up the middle anymore, right? Everybody thinks, I got to make big plays. I got to go way out to the left, way out to the right, way out in space. Nope, right down the middle. Nice blocking. How about the running back? You could tell the speed, the wheels, does a great job getting down the field, making a huge rushing play. 
That completion takes them down to the seven yard line and they are ready to strike. Ooh, and that was close for the offense. They try to go wide receiver screen. They're counting on that receiver, beating that defender. Wasn't able to make a miss that time, but if I'm on offense, I'm going back to that play later. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking to pass, it's Svoboda. Got it! And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a bigger game. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tag. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wyoming. And I love it. I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. I trust my offensive line to pave the way, give the ball to my running back, and know he's going to physically punch this thing into the end zone. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Illinois is trailing right now, but let's be honest. The program that turned out Jeff George should never be counted out of any game. It's just a field goal game. They're trailing by three to USC. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected, fellas. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. They'll run it from the gun. Shows him the stiff arm. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking to move it through the air. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that going. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And the Mountaineers are moving quickly down the field. He's looking to throw it. Finds a tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Two running backs alongside the quarterback. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. This offense has a second down play. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Things started here in the second. He'll do it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Good job by the defense, staying patient, defending all the options, stringing it out, making a nice play. To the air, it's Sellers. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. 
He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be 21. And your Wyoming Cowboys will take over first and ten. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. They'll go to the ground. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. The give to the tailback. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. This is a top 25 offense in college football, and I like what they do. They can run the football on third downs when they need to. They show you right there. They've got some balance to them. They really know who they are. They have a good identity, and that's why they've been so successful this season. Takes a handoff. It's Scott. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Wants to throw, it's Svoboda. And they got him for the sack. And he gets home again, continuing his production. Last week, two sacks. This week, already a sack in the first half. This guy has been on a sack terror. Offensive line needs to clean it up. Sack on second down, and now it's third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Working that left side now. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. And the Cowboys will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair... Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'll come to the line at the 42, facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Here he goes, breaking the pocket. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And you don't want to see this trend continue. Last week, he was sacked four times. The offensive line, this offense as a whole, needs to get in better situations, get rid of the football faster, and not keep getting their quarterback hit. The Mountaineers will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Yet. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Back to throw. It's Svoboda. Feeling some heat. Pressure coming. Coming after him. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Great job by the QB just avoiding a negative play. I know you don't come away with a big completion, but he should have gotten sacked. I don't know how he was able to get out of that. Great individual effort by him. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The Cowboys will try to pin them back with the punt. It doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And that's where they'll have The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. They've been pretty much stifled on offense so far, David, only able to muster three points in their previous three drives. And you got to find a way to open this up and create some explosive plays. The passing game is obviously the easiest way. Jesse, put more speed on the field. Find those guys down the field. And you know they're frustrated, too, because they felt like there were some matchups they could take advantage of to get some points on the board early. And this one, they just haven't been able to connect on those opportunities. But I like David's idea. Maybe move some guys around and see if you can create some better one-on-one -on -one matchups. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Mountaineers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try it over the left side. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. They try to pop a run on the draw. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. He'll keep it himself. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. That penalty moves the ball back 10 yards. We'll replay the down. And now on second down for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And it looks as if he'll pick up maybe a couple. This is a third and long. to throw. It's Sellers. Zings it complete to the right. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. Splits the upright. It's good. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some run up at the 18. And your Wyoming Cowboys will take over first and ten. Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. He's back to throw on second down. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Now on third and ten, if they can move the chains here, maybe they can get this drive started. To the air, it's Svoboda. He'll off one deep down the left side. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Mustard and Brown. And once he found daylight, it was candy bar the door, baby. Man, how hard is it to defend when you have a weapon like this and running back that can play wide receiver? You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space. Their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense move. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Illinois is trailing right now, but let's be honest. The program that turned out Jeff George should never be counted out of any game. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to USC. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day, guys. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Bought a little time, lets it go. Finds his big tight end. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Man, you see tight end matchups all over the field all the time. Now, it used to just be in the red zone. Now, you just find the big fella, you put him in the slot, try to give him the ball as much as possible because you know he can make big plays. The Mountaineers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Working on the right. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. They'll throw it on first down. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. From the red zone, looking for a space. He's got him still on his feet. Touchdown, App State. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they cut it to a 14-13 game. So that was a six-play, 75-yard drive. And they top it off with a 14-yard pass for the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease. At the 17, and your Wyoming Cowboys will take over first and second.
Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Back and forth we go on these last couple of drives. David, everybody moving the ball. Man, these offenses are in a rhythm. Everything they're doing right now is working, a lot of scoring. This puts a lot more pressure on your offense, Palmer, when you walk on the field. And at this point, too, David, which defense can break serve, right? Who can get a stop? That's what it feels like is going to be the determining factor in this game. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Dropping back, it's Svoboda. Throws to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. All wideouts, no bats. On second down, wants to throw. Pulls it in. It's Scott. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. Looking to go up top on first down. He lets one fly deep. And that one's incomplete. Worth taking a shot there, but couldn't hook up. Man, that is going to haunt this quarterback. He had his receiver running a deep route. He was open, and the QB overthrew him. Man, that sucks. Misfired on first down. Back to the air on second. Right on target this time. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. They'll immediately call timeout. And these quarterbacks have to really trust their wide receivers that they're going to be disciplined and run to the right route when they're throwing that ball to the outside like that because those corners are sitting there on the inside and the worst thing that could happen is to miss inside and that cornerback get going the other direction. Now on third down, this offense has been rolling. Can the defense stand tall? They'll run it from the gun. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Now, fourth down. I'm not sure this was ever a real decision. They'll go for it on fourth and inches. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Makes a catch past the sticks. And not much of a fourth down gamble when it's that much of a sure thing, an easy conversion for this offense. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Passes incomplete. The clock is down to nine. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. To the air, it's Svoboda. Fires toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Cowboys! Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, it's 21 to 13. So a scoring drive there of 83 yards. And they finish it off with a touchdown toss from the 23. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the offense has had enough. They'll take a knee and wrap up this first half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, who's got a better seat there today in Laramie than you do? And the story of the half has been that elite corner. We were told he was tough to throw against, 
he's basically taken away an entire side of the field when he's out there, causing turnovers and getting physical. How often do we say that about lockdown guys and how this offense schemes against him in this second half will be fun to watch. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at the highest elevation in all of college football, War Memorial Stadium. And the Cowboys will kick it off to start the second half. Looking for blockers. And the returner will be brought down. Appalachian State regains possession and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. Keeping it on the ground to open the second half. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. And the Mountaineers will hustle to the line. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. On the move at the 30. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Man, this guy's a playmaker, and he does not need a lot of space. Really nice job that time letting the pass rush get upfield. So when he got the football, there was just green grass out ahead of him, and he made the defense pay. Uh, and when I got a guy like that, man, I, I just got to find ways to get him past the D-line, right? And then the draw play is a good way to do it. Let them run themselves up the field. Then you can see he's got some serious speed. A lot of speed in space is always a good recipe for offense. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. Fires on the move. A strike downfield. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. The Mountaineers have their offense in high gear. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. Off the play fake on first down him downfield big pickup before he goes out of bounds but there is a flag we'll have to see if it stands amazing how many times an offensive holding penalty will stall a drive we'll see if the offense can overcome it off play action using the quick game and they get him down this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Headed to the end zone. Gets out of bounds after the big game, but they've got it first and goal. Well, on that one, they decide to attack the left outside on the ground. And you see the speed by the ball carrier there, Reese, picking up a huge chunk of yards. I can't imagine any reason they wouldn't just run that play again. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineers! And what a nice play call and nice execution. Play action, you're thinking run. Quarterback pulls it out, throws the football right behind those guys, and gets the touchdown. Yeah, it was a nice job there by the quarterback, too, on, on the ball handling. He just froze the defense just long enough to help those wide receivers and targets get some separation in the end zone. And at that point, it was just an easy pitch and catch. Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. Looking to get it in the end zone, and down he goes. They were trying to tie the game, but they are denied. Still down by two. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any...
Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. That last touchdown drive was surgical through the air, Jesse. It sure was, and that's why this offense is so dangerous, David, because they can score in a hurry because of how efficient they are throwing the football. And welcome to modern college football. That's what it is. Spread you out, find my playmakers, make quick decisions, and really put defenses in a difficult situation. Fires to the wideout. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. We'll repeat the previous down, but this time the offense has 10 more yards it has to cover. Now on second down. To the air, it's Svoboda. This one's complete. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. You know, tight ends are such matchup nightmares and problems for defense. They're too big for DBs to cover, and they're too fast for linebackers to cover. You saw it right there. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. The Cowboys decide to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. That's usually prime. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. On the run, it's Roberts. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. He's looking to throw. Gets it to the back. And there's going to be a loss on that play. Just run out of bounds and avoiding the contact. On third down, he drops the throw. He wants to go deep. And he makes the catch inside the 25. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Quick strike complete. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down. They can pick up the first without scoring. He makes a grab. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Looking downfield, it's Sellers. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. They'll try it again from the one on second and goal. He's got his man. Touchdown, Appalachian State. They looked finished, but they're all the way back, and they have the lead. This dude is just slicing and dicing this defense into little tiny pieces. Carving him up, completely comfortable, knows exactly what he's getting, had so much success today. You gotta find a way to make these quarterbacks feel more uncomfortable. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Ole Miss is running away with this one, thanks to an offense that looks like it did when Archie... They're up by 17 over Wake Forest. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. Fires to the big fella. 
And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Power football with the run. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. Well, they needed two yards for that first down. The running back doing just enough to make sure he keeps this drive alive. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. He's going to pass. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And the defense just gets their fourth sack of the day. And guess what? This offensive line, they gave up four last week, too. So you need some consistency up front. Make sure you protect that QB that can make those big plays for you. They'll snap it from the 25 here on second and long. Scanning the field, it's Svoboda. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Man, it's been a long day for this offense. If you can't protect your quarterback, it's hard to be successful. That's the fifth sack they have given up. The offensive coordinator has no answers, and this defense has been flying around. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. He's got an open man. He's off to the races. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Wyoming. They take the lead with the six. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running, I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They're going to go for two here and try to extend that lead to a field goal. Looking to throw. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. It was a golden opportunity on that two-point conversion attempt, but he fumbles. you got to have better ball security. They come away with no points. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to throw, it's Sellers. He'll try to do it himself. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Got his man quickly. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And the Mountaineers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll go with a direct snap. Didn't get much, picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. The Mountaineers send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his... Wyoming has the football back, and here comes the offense. 
That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating when you got the offense moving a little bit and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. At the end of the day, it's just fundamental football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. He's looking to throw. They're bringing heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. Guys, we have Wyoming on top as we reach the end of the quarter. They're sitting in a strong position here with the lead. Let's take a look at our game summary. Somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. We've got this third down play to open the quarter. Running back searching for a hole. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. There's just not a lot of great play calls, guys, for third in California. So you hand it off. You try to get some of that yardage back and see what happens next. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. And they'll get him to fly. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And the catch was one thing, and the run even better. A big pickup on that one. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. They keep attacking through the air. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. The pocket broke down, and the quarterback had to take the sack. Really impressed by this pass rush, Reese. Just guys winning their individual battles one-on-one -on -one up front. They're able to get to the quarterback. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. Back to pass. It's Sellers. The throw to the outside is complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Mountaineers will send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return possible on this. Wyoming takes over the football and the Cowboy offense on its way out. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. Well, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. They'll ride the hot hand. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. 
And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. The give to the back. And the Cowboys will move the sticks. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. The offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football, so he's going back, he's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? Now on second down, they want to keep moving forward and keep that clock churning. Wide receiver shows motion. Leaves it with the back. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team. If they're having this much success on the ground, it starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays. Then I can play action later on and take shots. But right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. The give to the single back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Svoboda. Can't find the man, and he'll be knocked down at the 40. That is now the seventh sack on defense. This offense cannot protect their QB. It doesn't matter if the defense is blitzing or if they're just winning one-on-one. -on -one. Seven sacks? That's just ridiculous. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Boy, the defense really needed to get off the field there, and they just couldn't do it, and it's a fresh set of downs. Man, that hurts. When you're trailing late in the ball game, you need those stops, and you get them to third down. You get them to those critical points. Now they get the first down. You don't have many left. You better get aggressive. Able to get one down to the 15. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. They, those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. They'll give it to the back. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. He got it.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Appalachian State regains possession and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. He picks up the first down, brought down, but not before he put that dude in a blender. Quarterback on the keeper. Got enough for the first down and wants more. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Dropping back, it's Sellers. Incomplete. He had to get rid of it before he wanted to. The defense put the heat on. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. This time on target. And they get to him and knock him down to prevent a big game. And if you didn't know this was a big play, the crowd is telling you. A huge third down. Tight end finds a soft spot. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. They're going to throw it again. Unloads it left. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. Pocket starts to collapse. He makes the connection. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They turn to the passing game on third and short. And he can't find anyone open, and down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Plays like that are the type of plays that win you games. Bottom line, here we are, it's late. It's a close game. It's a huge third down, and somebody's got to step up and make a play. Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll go up top, maybe a deciding play here. It's incomplete. Defense does not come up big. Man, you needed that first down. And Listen, the communication with this offense and the execution has left a little bit to be desired, and especially in a big moment right here when you had to have a score and you had to have the fourth down conversion. They'll keep it on the ground to keep this clock moving. Smacks it with the stiff arm. And he'll ramble to the 34 before he's finally knocked down. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. They'll put the tight end in motion. They're getting this guy lathered up. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking for a crease. It's Scott. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. Timeout called there by the defense. Desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible.
Balls have the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. No mystery on that play. With the lead, we are going to run the ball. You know it's coming, and we are running right at you, right into the teeth of the defense, and they're still able to get a nice game. So with the late lead, they're ready to just drain the clock in victory formation. And the quarterback takes the snap and kneels down. They won the game today. That's two in a row. If they win the next one, it's called a winning streak. It's been done before. And we're seeing the identity of this team coming to fruition. You just get the sense they're finding out who they are, what they're about, what they're going to do schematically, and who their big playmakers are. Which is tough to do, right? It's tough to grow throughout a season and understand who you are. But when you stack wins week after week on top of each other and start to have success, you start to grow as an identity and you start to understand who you are. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.
Cowboys suffered no new significant injuries in today's game. After next week's bye week, the Cowboys begin conference play as they travel to Colorado Springs to take on the Air Force Falcons in Week 5.